So all right, it is the day before Flight Fest, and if you guys remember in previous years, we've had the opportunity to work with a dear team member and a dear friend named Peter Schriepel. Now in the past, he's built some pretty crazy stuff at Flight Fest, all the way starting back with the Decker plane, the 10-wing airplane. Uh, last year he did, I think, the world's largest wingspan RC airplane, and you know, he's behind me right now, and you wanna guess what he's doing now? I'm not here right now, I can't hear you. I don't even see where you are! I'm too <laughs> <laughs> This is awful. <laughs> I screwed up. Peter, what are you doing? What, what, are we, what are you going to build today? So, rather than going for wingspan, we are going for length. So, basically, the question is how long is too long for an RC airplane? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are, you, are you making like kit sections for people to build them? Yeah, I'm just going to hand uh, the kids a bunch of these and run away. I like that. That's what I'm you did with the 50 motor airplane, too. It didn't, work, like, it didn't work that well. <laughs> no, but it was fun. Hopefully this yeah. turns out better. So frankly, my favorite one was uh, last year when you made that huge monster plane. Yeah, it actually flew so It flew really good, yeah. And I tell you what, if you would have had the differential thrust out a little bit further. I don't know what it was. Something was wrong with that. Cause it's like, it overheated every time it shut yeah. down. Yeah. You know, now we have the motors and stuff. If we would have the motors we have today on your plane last it year. It would have been better. Cause it just overheated the plane. Yeah. I was hoping for something catastrophic <laughs> during combat. I still remember, uh, I still remember hitting it with the uh, Nick Lurkin. And oh yeah, bounced he bounced off. off. Oh I thought God. something was gonna happen. This is like a it, toy airplane it just bouncing shredded. off of it. Yeah, it like, I'm gonna cut this thing in half. That's been my goal every time I cut people's planes in half. No. Well, no. fortunately for you, you might have an easier time with this airplane. Yeah, we're gonna get to that. If that flies, are you gonna put it in combat? Combat, yes. I, I, mean, I don't think any muscles for a really long airplane to put in their hangar. <laughs> That's true. So basically every year since pretty much the beginning of flight test, Peter has been making these awesome contraptions. And the way he does it is he builds it kind of modular. He builds section by section, whether it was the DECA plane, the big flying hoop plane, uh, or many of his other planes, like the largest wingspan plane uh, that was built just last year. He designs sections and then he gives it off to different children and different families to be able to help him along with this build. And that way he can easily take these components and interchange them, he can add on, he can, he can modify it really quickly. We have Peter set up right now. He's designing out the pieces. He's cutting them back on our laser units. And then he's gonna take those foam kits. He's gonna teach the people how to build them. And then they're gonna go to town building fuselage section after fuselage section. The really cool thing is, is typically all the time is in the wings and the tail. This year, it's tiny little wings, but a whole bunch of fuselage. And Peter has a plan for that. All right, Size one. so just about a day and a half ago, Peter and I were up at HQ and he was building this thing. And if you didn't remember last year, he set the record for the longest wingspan plane built in basically a day. It was incredible. This year he's going for the world's longest one. And uh, Peter, you did the airliner in the most recent episode, right? Uh, that's actually gonna be part of this episode. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah so. So you proof of concept? Yeah, proof of concept, we're just like, okay, this is well, this is too long for a regular airplane. We gotta build something custom. This is the custom job. I love it. So we've got, Canardarons in the front, and we have Elevons in the back. So basically, I'll have pitch control in the front and roll control, and the same thing in the back, just you know, opposite. The pitch up, these go down. The pitch you know, off, that goes up. So theoretically, if everything worked good with the Canardarons, you'd be able to actually take off the ground because you'd be lifting yeah, on you the just front. Yeah, lift the nose up, and it should fly away. But the tail's gonna be a little more planted, but the nose should pick up, and it I should come it. off the ground. Peter, you're getting really close. I know. Uh, let me think of a pump. A pump. Don't go. Uh, I can't think of one right now. I don't know. I'm getting tired of all these puns. Man, you're really on a roll. Yeah. Wow. I'm gearing up for some serious puns. <laughs> I can't wait for it to take flight. It's about a half inch gap. So Peter, how long is this right now? Uh, currently we're at like uh, 16 something feet. Nice. It's a couple inches to the tail, I didn't really measure that. <laughs> it's definitely around there. It's a length, for sure. I love the fact that you have the wings rubber bandable on so you can move it in and out. No, that's so when it crashes, it just flexes. I like that. <laughs> All 
All right, All right. so here we go. <laughs> Typical fashion flight test. P P uh, Peter's crazy build. You ready for this? I'm ready. This is the test flight. So this is the 16 foot version. If this goes well, we'll extend it to the big version. But first, let's see if it flies. So Michael's gonna be flying the center lifter from GetFPV here. This thing is a monster carrying a DSLR camera. Uh, everyone's ready. This thing's gonna happen. Sure, let's go. All right. <laughs> it just left his right turn it? Okay, we're turning. Yep. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this flight's great. It's not bad at all. Oh my god! I'm like at half power too. Look at Brady can eat his heart out, can it? <laughs> Holy cow! Dude. It's going great. This is fantastic. <laughs> this is probably the goofiest plane you'll see. This probably the event. goofiest best flying plane I've ever seen. Look at you, you have full control. Yep. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is awesome! <laughs> oh <laughs> Let's, try my <laughs> Let's try wiggling it. <laughs> <laughs> this fly's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna come around and land it. Okay. We got some length you need to do because I'm not satisfied with this length just yet. So you built the 32 foot plane last year yeah. and this is far more stable and easy to control. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like the same power system too. I think this should be great. Yeah, without the uh, pushing anything to the max, huh? Yep. Oh, this is incredible. All right, coming in. Okay, let's let's tear it apart and make it longer. Let's do it. <laughs> so we love supporting Peter in these crazy projects. Not only did we hook him up with all the foam he needs and our laser cutters to be able to cut it out, but we also set them up with our new XL Power Series power packs. Now, if anyone doubts the power of these motors, these are the 2814 motors we use on our XL Scout, XL 3D, and a lot of other models to come in the near future. These motors put a quite a punch, and as you can see, it was able to fly a 30 plus foot long airplane with these. <laughs> All right, so while Peter's cutting this out, I am really excited to share with you something else new that we're gonna be announcing at Flight Fest, and that is because of you guys. Our new Flight Fest app is now available for you to download on both Apple and Android. Now, if you guys are wondering what the new app from Flight Test is, the new app gives you full access to everything Flight Test right at your fingertips. Whether it's all of our video channels with all of our content, whether it's our amazing community with the incredible articles they provide, a full store experience, and also a personal hangar for you to be able to store and log hours with your different aircraft. Now, if you guys are tired of watching different Google ads while you're watching our video content, whether it's the tech channel video, a life channel video, or our main content, our new app has removed all Google ads from the video player. If you guys love and are inspired by our amazing community and the incredible articles we make, all of our articles are easily embedded and easily searchable. Now the Hangar Experience on your app is a virtual place where you can store pictures and information about the various aircraft that you build and you'd fly. Now every pilot needs a logbook and we wanted you to have one of your own, but also with a fun twist. Now this is the very beginning for our app here. We're gonna be adding new features to all of the different tabs from our videos where you can eventually be able to add comments and be able to search for different videos, to our logbook where you're gonna be able to network with different people and friends all over town or across the country or even the world. And the Flight Test app will also seamlessly integrate with the new remote ID module that we've created that's gonna be out in the very near future. We really want this app to serve you for being able to grow in the hobby, but also recognize you for the amazing accomplishments as you grow in the hobby. So out of all Peter's sketchy builds here, this first Maiden was the smoothest of all. He went ahead and doubled the length. This is over 30 feet long. This is close to the same wingspan that the original plane that he flew last year was. So he's going to put it up in the air. This is not the final round with it. If this flies, he's going to land it quickly. Ah, yeah, we're going to fly it. Okay, let's go fly it. And then I'm going to be putting my time in to build something to take it and cut it in half in combat. Hey, you might be more successful this year than last year trying to cut me in half. I feel miserable. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot softer, so it's definitely got more vulnerability points. So you guys just thinking about that. If you had like two sets of motors and stuff, it had it this could plane fly away. You could cut this in half and then keep flying. Sure, as long as well, as long as the CG's good. Yeah, I love it, dude. All right, I love it. Feels no, good. All right, are you ready? I think we're ready. Uh, Jason, Jason's gonna be chasing this time. Where are you, Jason? There I'm he right is. Here. All right, you give us the countdown, one. I'm ready. All right, he's ready. Ready? Okay. No! <laughs> oh. Oh. oh boy. One way's gone, one way. It's definitely worse. <laughs> 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 
Oh no. <laughs> oh, you gotta take it way out there. All right, so we're trying to gain some altitude here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's not right! <laughs> what are you about that? It. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're gonna try to turn that way, huh? Uh, man, no, let's not do that. Yeah, I'm just like... We're gonna go further. I'm gonna turn around the other way. Yeah, I'm there you go. It. I see some folding wings. Yeah, there's something going on there yeah. that I don't like. Good things happen when you do figure eight patterns with sketchy planes. Oh, oh yeah. Get away from people. All right, if I bring it in for landing, we're gonna strengthen it up, and then we'll yeah. fly it and come back the tomorrow. The fact that it's even flying! <laughs> Dude! All right, so I'm trying to come down a little bit. Look at all those wheels. It's like a train that's not on the tracks. And this is why we're out of wheels in the store. <laughs> Here he comes. Right on the runway? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. Oh, oh my God, God. Oh, okay. 30 feet. Oh, okay, it flew. It flew. I'm happy with that. All right. Oh, my God. Off to combat tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's do it. Now, if you guys don't know about Flight Fest Combat, Combat is where hundreds of people send up their crazy contraptions at one time. Peter does the exact same thing with all of his crazy planes for one final epic battle and a really good way to retire the airframe altogether. Now, in previous years, he's taken the circle plane up with lasers shining in between it and letting people fly through it. Other times, he's taken the deck of plane and flown it and let people try to knock off wings. And last year, we even got to go head-to-head -head with Peter when he built his 32-foot wingspan airplane and we took our monster flurkin in combat against him didn't end well for us. So this year, we have a different plan. We subbed it out to our community and let them take care of the job. <laughs> Y'all better hurry up! I don't got that much battery! Be aware! Oh my god, you feeling nervous yet? <laughs> yeah, get her up yeah, the the water. Water. Everybody needs to fly out! <laughs> It got chewed to pieces. <laughs> so basically we were flying and the front wing came off. It was still flying great. Then someone hit the back wing and it started fluttering and we just kept going and eventually they took two of my rear wings off and it was over after that. Oh my goodness. All down. Now this combat definitely did not disappoint here. Peter put it in the air. It flew incredibly slow, really stable, believe it or not. And this plane flew a lot longer than we all anticipated. Even with losing wings and different control surfaces, it kept on flying. But finally, like all the other aircraft, it went down in an amazing way. So friends, all in all, this year's Flight Fest was one of the most amazing and also the biggest events we've ever had in our life. Now, if you guys are ever on the fence on whether you want to come to an event like this, I hope this answered your question. And also, look in the near future for a full recap of this event. It is inspiring, it is educational, it's very entertaining, and I guarantee you're going to leave with a smile. And also, we look forward to more additional future projects from our good friends like Peter Schriepel and many other people in the future. One thing we love to do with these events is to have big, crazy projects going on for people to join in and build. And Peter never disappoints with his crazy ideas and his crazy projects. Now, Flight Fest is truly an event for the whole family. Whether you're 5 or 85, this is an event for you to come and celebrate flight, have some time with friends and families, and also learn as you go. 
And as we talked about before, Life Fest was not only a great time with friends and family, but it was also the launch of our brand new app. Now, whether you're around the world or just down the road, the app is a great way to connect with everybody and everything Flight Test. If you're watching this on YouTube right now and you're tired of those Google ads, this is a fantastic way to be able to watch all of our content from all of our channels right in your phone without any Google ads to deal with. Look in the near future for a full recap of Flight Fest, and we'll see you next time.